Hi, Laura. This is your Galactic Light Language Reading. I made a printout and kind of got colored, but that's okay. Light language speaks to the soul without words in the universe. It goes to the right side of our brain and bypasses the left side of our brain of words to the right side of emotions, feelings, intuition, symbols. These symbols can mean a million different things. You get a packet of information. So this is just one interpretation of a million interpretations. It's in your energetic field. Here is the sun, which is a stargate. You probably got rebirth through this vortex of energy into the stargate communities. You probably a star seed. You are a seven in numerology, which means in this lifetime, you're here to learn to have faith and trust in the universe partnership and blooming with this flower and growth and seeding past lifetimes of mine lifetimes of healing being a psychic in the temples my guides are saying right now being an oracle reading for others so much so that in past lifetimes you went off your intuition and spirituality rather than facts and information and now in this lifetime, you're learning to be more analytical, learning facts and information. Being on time as if your life depended on it is so important in this lifetime. Having a schedule, having rituals is so important. Being a business for yourself and not being there at a moment's notice for everyone and everything. Having a schedule, being organized. Do not look for a savior in this lifetime. You are here to be independent, not be a victim, be self-empowered, be independent, being okay living with yourself. It doesn't mean you're not going to be with a partner, but being self-empowered, being the boss at work, being the business person, having faith and trust, and utilizing research in this lifetime. Facts and information. Gather that first then add in your intuition. If there's an argument in past lifetimes with the Mayan energy, arguments with people in the past, you would close the door and not answer the phone for several days. Stop it. Answer the phone. Get more information. Find out what's going on. You'll gain confidence, self-love, self-empowerment, and you can nip it in the bud in that moment. These are different vortexes of energy that you're going through, bringing in that Mayan lifetime of healing and be able to do it in a work environment to have this balance coming into your life. These are frequencies that will be raised in going through doorways in this lifetime. Raising your frequency doesn't happen once, it has several, several times doesn't happen all at once. This is some star systems you came from. Some are from the Pleiades, some are from Cirrus, some are from Arcturus, my guides are saying right here. The balance between the moon and the sun in this lifetime is the male and female side that you are learning to do in this lifetime too. Healing those as those Mayan times, healing ancestry, Healing those old family hurts and healing abandonment issues are the biggest focus of your life purpose in this lifetime. Reaching for the stars, raising your frequency through going through sound therapy, Reiki, getting massage, going to spiritual workshops will help raise your vibration in the universe, which is real, real important. It's important for you to participate in life. Bringing order to chaos in this lifetime is one of your gifts. You have really good karma at work. And when you work at work and be the boss and help others, you're reaching ascension and doing your spiritual purpose. Being a service to others, not running away, is part of your spiritual purpose. Doing everything in moderation is so, so important. And taking risks in spite of fear.
take that boat, take that journey, go through this, have that balance. And that's the sum totality of who you are in this lifetime. Balance with the infinity sign. Flower of life, everything there. Your emotions being displayed and getting to be that self-empowered woman of bringing order to chaos in this lifetime. Don't look for a savior. Don't look for the answers in others. You have it within yourself. Do not try to date others that you feel that they have the power or weaknesses that you have and they have the strength. Do not look to them. Those relationships will always fail. Look at the strengths within yourself. Develop that. Gain that self-confidence. Then you have balanced relationships with loved ones with people that you date, people that you marry, and from that will become real, real important. If you do date people, don't get confused. If it's too confusing, too many layers, it's not the right person. Do not give your power away. It should be easy peasy. Take your time to get to know someone and watch the magic happen. You have that inner vision, your third eye, that psychic ability from past lifetimes, but this lifetime you're here to get the facts the information to see what it really, really is going on around you. And from that, you will be self-empowered and bring all this in to the center of the flower of life to bloom and continually raise your frequencies. You are next year going to be in a personal year of a four. It's a great year to start a business, to be a boss at work, get a promotion, go back to school next year is great. Or teaching something that you've really, really learned to others and being a service to others is really great next year. Take good care of your health. Get plenty of sleep. Drink plenty of water. Get some exercise. And you'll be good to go, girl. Awesome, awesome stuff. So there you go. Just another general little update for you in the universe. If you have any questions, let me know. Sending angels your way.